Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video. And um, today, um, we're gonna do another buy or sell. And um, this will be the first ever uh, live one we've done uh, on uh, my Twitch and on YouTube. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitch as well for all my YouTube uh, followers or subscribers uh, that don't know about my Twitch. The link will be in the description uh, box. Uh, we gotta kind of we gotta build that up, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, um, with that being said, uh, today uh, we're gonna be doing um, a buy or sell. Um, of two very predominant uh, female anime Yu-Gi-Oh characters, um, and um, uh, very much a lot of people love these characters as kids. Um, don't lie, you wanted these characters when you were kids. You know that uh, these characters were um, very very instrumental to me, and I'm sure to many others. Um, that remember them. Uh, and, uh, the first is, um, we have, uh, My Valentine from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Uh, and then we have Alexis Rose, uh, from, uh, the series after the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, which was, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And, uh, as you guys know, my qualifications for buy or sell, you know, which one we're buying, which one we're selling, have the topics. We've done this before. We've done many rule. Uh, we've done uh, many different buyer cells. And also, if there's a specific buyer sell topic you want me to do, uh, like I said, we've done them in the past. They're in the playlist. So if you want to see past videos on our buyer cells, um, make sure to go check it out. And uh, if you have a personal request for a buyer sell, um, uh, on a specific topic between two characters or two anime shows or you know any type of media cartoon whatever uh it is uh make sure to check it out and uh make sure to comment down below and i might just do it in a future video um but today we have alexis rose and my valentine uh and the topic is which is the um the better female protagonist uh, main character. Um, these two are always talked about a lot um, in terms of their respective, uh, you know, characters. Because uh, uh, again, a lot of the people that grew up in the early two thousands, well, you know, that were kids. I mean, when I watched Yu Gi Oh, I was like probably like freaking ten. Uh, when it came on, and then of course GX, I was probably around 13, 14 ish. Uh, so, you know, definitely a part of, um, excuse me, uh, part of my childhood. And uh, these are the characters that a lot of people liked. You know, the girl characters here. Um, still, people to this day love these uh, these characters, uh, and always like to see them come back. Um, but in terms of which character was the better female-driven uh, character, um, so for my personal take, uh, I'd have to buy Alexis Rose and I have to sell my Valentine uh, for a lot of different various reasons. Obviously, I'm a huge Alexis Rose fan, so I know, of course, there will be some type of bias. I do like my Valentine, too. Um, I really like my Valentine first came in um but uh i liked alexis better uh but also not only that uh really when you take into the logistics of their characters uh, alexis actually is the main female character of her series my valentine is not taya gardner is the actual female character of Yu-Gi-Oh. uh even though she hardly ever duels um so it's really not a fair comparison. My Valentine is more of a main support character. She's not actually uh, a main female character uh, in her series. 
Uh, I know that's hard to believe for some people, but it's true. Taya Gardner's the real main character of the series, despite not really knowing how to duel uh, or hardly ever dueling, since she's mostly a cheerleader uh, for most of it. Um, but also, Alexa's Rose, I think, was overall a better duelist. Uh, my Valentine had to get a lot of help. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Yugi had to basically win her star chips back for her. Uh, she couldn't beat Merrick. Um, and, of course, as we all know, um, you know, everyone had to save her. So, while my Valentine was definitely a strong character, uh, I felt like Alexis Rose was better uh, she, I think she, I believe she won more duels than her, um, but even if that's not the case, um, I think, um, the overall, the overall picture of her character development, I felt was more growth, um, um, especially having to learn from Jaden, because Alexis had even said before Jaden got there that, um, the place wasn't as good, and, you know, she was the, she was the best female, uh, duelist in, uh, the academy, so she already was, uh, you know, pretty much a star there, but then when Jaden got there, you know, it kind of changed her perspective, you know, this Slifer Red all of a sudden, you know, being as good as he is. And I think her character arc redemptions are much better than Mai's. And of course, as we all know in the infamous filler arc, they kind of just totally put her in left field into this whole Seal of Orikauko stuff um, that wasn't received very well. Uh, as we all know, the, the English voice of Mai changed, and a lot of people did not like that. I myself did not like it either. She sounded like an opera singer. <laughs> uh, the person who replaced uh, uh, that was Erica Schroeder Erica Schro replaced um, uh, replaced the original voice uh, it was not one of her best roles in my opinion um, she sounded like an, that was and you know what funny story is is that is when I re when my Valentine's voice changed that is as a kid that is when I actually started to realize that <laughs> something was up like when i started to realize that oh how how is her voice changing now like that, that was the first time that i realized because the voice was so dramatically different uh in the seal of Ari, uh, the seal of ari coca the seal of ari cocos God. the green card okay <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting a tongue twister right now. Um, but yeah, uh, my Valentine, you know, her voice dramatically changed. It really kind of hurt the product uh, really a lot. Uh, with, uh, you know, like I said, uh, the Erica Schroeder voice uh, that my got was, you know, she tried to sound like, you know, the original voice. Um, and... Uh, It didn't work, unfortunately. That's what a lot of that's what that's what they did a lot in the early two thousands is they tried to um uh Megan, yeah. Megan uh Housen. I'm sorry if I said her last name wrong. She was the original voice actor and then Erica Schroeder took over uh in the filler arc and it was just never the same. Uh and uh, they basically tried to make her voice sound, like I said, Erica Schroeder sounded like an opera singer, and it just didn't work. And uh, again, as a kid, that was the first time I actually realized that <laughs> there was a voice behind behind the characters, because it was just so, so goddamn different. Um, and they just tried so hard to make her sound like the old voice actor and it, it didn't work with alexis rose they changed voice actors during during the series but 
the voice actor that took over uh pretty much sound the same like very very close like it was very hard to tell the difference uh for alexis rose's voice actor uh, that took over after 26 episodes so there was a lot more consistencies and again overall even you know not just the voice acting performance in it but obviously the characters in itself um uh, i felt alexis was better and again she was themed to be a main character uh where my really wasn't you know Taya was the main character and this is where the uh Yu-Gi-Oh Jack series I felt you know did better than the original Yu-Gi-Oh series even more was they introduced a strong female character uh that could duel because again my Valentine it wasn't the main character she was a main support character or a, re a main reoccurring character but she was not a definitive main character Taya Gardner was and again Taya Gardner was a very weak female character she did not really do anything she hardly ever dueled and when she did it was kind of just kind of bullcrap type stuff or you know in the filler arc which was probably the best was probably the best development for Taya that had ever happened for Taya up to that point was the the filler arc where you know she went up against the uh you know those uh those uh traders of seto kaiba's uh company or whatever um you know in the you know in that uh that fictional world or whatever that they had that was probably the best uh thing that they ever had for Taya, um which is very unfortunate but that was her best character growth uh in Yu-Gi-Oh gx they really kind of got away from that you know the whole cheerleading aspect of female characters and they actually introduced strong characters and it started with alexis rose alexis rose kind of was the the main character female of the series and that's pretty much been the definitive way of thinking about female characters in Yu-Gi-Oh since uh they've kind of taken that blueprint ever since you know you'll occasionally see a character be uh a you know kind of a cheerleader but very rarely and and even if they are they are pretty much um they're more definitive um you know like i said they can hold their own they can win duels and we pretty much see that with every main female character ever since and so um i think alexis gets it on that knob alone and again my valentine while was a very good character did have a lot of flaws uh, and again, she wasn't meant to be a main character in the series. Um, so I think it's kind of really one-sided uh, in terms of the the whole aspect of the character and the main character. Both good characters, nonetheless. But in my opinion, I would go with my or I would go with uh, Alexis Rose uh, and buy her and sell her out of the two. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that is the that is my thoughts on this. I will be doing more of these, maybe do more live streams of this of different topics of this, um, you know, on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, so uh, make sure you you do this and uh, follow uh, on on Twitch and YouTube. The links will be in the descriptions for the respective uh, servers. Um, and, uh, we'll try to put all the more stuff. I'm still trying to get more different, the tools that I, I should be using to kind of make this stuff come out better, uh, for everyone to see, but, uh, make sure you guys check it out guys. And also if there's another buy or sell topic you want me to talk about, you know, comment down below and I'll see if I can do it. Uh, as well as go check, go check out, out the, the past, past ones I've done in the past because they're out there guys um, so always be looking out for that type of stuff um, like I said it's uh, where it's at um, so uh, yeah Make sure uh, to um, sure to comment, uh, rate, 
like and again subscribe follow on twitch and youtube channels um which will be all in the description and uh again make sure also to hit that bell for all the latest contents on the youtube thing uh, as well if you're not a subscriber make sure to subscribe uh, as well as if you're on twitch make sure to follow um and that is about it guys uh i am the ss ultimate goku and i'm out of here peace